Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Let's change the subject right now to Tolondo because it is a very important subject, one that we've followed probably since the inception of talking fishing on TV some two years ago almost. And uh, today's a bit of a historic day. I mean, we've had a lot of rain. I, I'll, I'll just preclude this interview with a, with a statement. I know there's been some media releases out today talking about there's uh, potentially 5,000 megs going into Lake Tolondo very, very shortly, but you're about to hear the facts exclusive. I caught up with the Minister for Water, Lisa Neville, only a couple of hours ago, and this is what we had to say. Well, many of you may recall that in January 2015, the water flowed into Tolondo, and that water actually saved the lake up until this point now. The Minister for Water was there that day. Minister Neville, thanks for joining us on Talking Fishing. Was that your very first official uh, event, I guess, as the Minister for Water back then? Well, it was. I think I was only a few weeks into the job. And in fact, I think the first, almost the first discussion I had with the department was about this election commitment that I hadn't been aware of because I hadn't been Shadow Water Minister about somehow finding water for Lake Tolondo and getting the, uh, uh, if we could, and getting trout back in there. So, um, uh, yeah, so it was a pretty exciting day, both learning about it and being there with so many people who'd, uh, who were so excited about the fact that this iconic lake was now going to have some water in and trout fishing was back. It, uh, the all important question, has Rocklands Reservoir reached the trigger point to put some more water into Tolondo? Well, I suppose I sh let's, let's not hurry to the answer to that, because of course, after we did the Lake Tolondo, we got the, the water in it in January 15. Uh, we, did a, we went through a process of consultation about, well, how do we, how do we ensure, if we can, uh, a future for Lake Tolondo, if we can, and we were in the middle of drought at that time, mm. and it was getting worse as well. So everyone came to the table to set in place these triggers. So if we reached um, 116,000 um, megs, that, that would enable us to deliver about five gigs into the into Lake Tolondo. So that was a trigger, entitlement holders, you know, people who really own the water in yeah. there for their own use, um, it ticked off on that process. And uh, very pleased to say that not only have we hit that trigger, We've actually hit a second trigger, David. We've hit the trigger, which was the second where you could get an additional five gigs, which is 126 uh, megs. So we've hit that second um, trigger as well. So does that mean the water is going to flow into Tolondo soon? Well, in fact, because we'd hit the trigger of the 116, we started this week sending the five gigs into Lake Tolondo. But because today, as of today, as we speak, we've just hit the, the next trigger, 10 gigs will start to flow in. So we would hope to see within a couple of months that um, Lake Tolondo get their 10 gigs. Is there anything that's going to stop the flow into Tolondo? Uh, well, there is a, an issue if we, if we can't deliver it by December, which we absolutely are confident we can do. Because once you hit December, the entitlement holders don't want to see water lost from evaporation. And when you hit those summer months, that's when you see a lot of loss of it from evaporation. But we're, um, we're very confident we're going to be able to deliver the 10 gigs and, um, and nothing will stop that happening. And if 10 gigs goes in before December, how long does that preserve the fishery at Tolondo? Well, that buys us two summers. Yeah. So that means that, you know, this summer coming up and the one after, that we've got a guarantee of um, enough water to sustain the trout population there and, and the lake and the activities that go on in the lake. So I think that's great news. It gives a, you know, surety to everyone there's two, at least two years there. Um, so that the system we put in place, it tells a message to the system which was about shared benefits, if we can share the benefits of water between you know, farmers and urban um, and recreational, that we will do it and that's what we're doing here. One last question. I've heard a whisper. It's not only water you're putting into Tolondo, but there may be something else going in tomorrow. Well, it is a big announcement tomorrow. We're going down to we'll celebrate uh, um, the five gigs and now the 10 gigs. And I do want to keep something exciting for tomorrow's announcement, but can I, a hint would be something slimy. I, th I think I, I was in some waders and throwing something into the lake last, last time. Well, something like that slimy, um, slippery um, things might be found in the lake. Well, there you have it, straight from the minister's mouth.
Tolondo is already receiving water. It will receive 10 gigs, hopefully by December, and Tolondo is saved once again. Minister, thanks for that. It's just been uh, absolutely fantastic, the work you've done. And I know it's hard when there's no water, but now there's water, you're actually getting the job done. Thank you very much. Great to join you again, David. Thank you. And just absolutely fantastic news there for the people down to Londo and the people that want to fish to Londo because, uh, you know, that place would not have survived without the five meg last time, 5,000 megs last time. It certainly will survive into the future for the next few years. And uh, let's just remember that there's still a lot of water pouring into Rocklands, so the 10 gigs might not be the cap. Uh, that's up to the committee and those people that make those decisions, but at least it's guaranteed 10. That's pretty good news, boys. Excellent. Excellent. Up next, fisheries news and all the details for Mate's Day on the Bay, next on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing.